Hey everyone, it is April 27th, 2013, what a couple of weeks it has been my friends, Boston, you did something incredible, you caught the bastards that blew them up, real impressive job there to be honest, anyway, now normally I was thinking about doing something along the lines of history of ghost hunts for this show, but not a lot of people realize this, but this m past Monday that we just got past was actually the two-year anniversary of the Paranormal Raider Force. So, I decided to do a little fun program that usually gets done around Halloween, but I thought it would be, still be a little bit fun. You can actually join this show and be able to tell your own experiences with the supernatural by going into a Google Plus Hangout, the link will be sent out through our Twitter and Fa Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus pages throughout the whole show. You can call in at any time through Google Plus or Skype. If you want to go through Skype, you look up the name JSA Show One, all one word, all lowercase. That way, you can actually call into the show with your experiences. Or, if you got a little extra time on your hands, you can actually write in through our email, journalssupernaturaladventure at gmail.com, and I'll just read out your stories live on the show. So anyway, so, I hope you guys all enjoy the show tonight. It's going to be a one hour special. A couple of you have actually already sent in stories, which I cannot thank you enough for. Considering that it's been hard boosting up this show, it shows a lot of support, and I have to thank y'all. So anyway, we already have a story that was sent in earlier. That's from Sharon H. from Salt Lake City, Utah. It reads, Hey Dakota, I'm a big fan of your work, and I hope to see more footage from your investigation soon. Anyway, I would like to share a story that happened around this time my grandfather passed away because of cancer. I have always had a close relationship with my grandfather so I think that is why that is why it all happened. While he was still alive I was able to feel the pain he felt from the tumors. Oh, hold on. Someone trying to call in? Oh. Alright, we already got callers. Can you please give me a second? Hello? Sorry, folks. Alright. And it continued to and the pains that he felt would continue on until the day he passed away. So while we were waiting for the paramedics to show, I was able to watch his very soul leave his body, as well as the spirits that came to help him across. Have you ever experienced something like this, or maybe just heard about it? I have been freaking out about it ever since it happened, and would like to know if it might happen again. Well, to be honest, Sharon, Yes, it can happen again. I'm sorry for your loss, but it is a pain in the ass to deal with, to be honest. It's a gift that's kind of considered rare, but I have actually experienced it with my grandfather, who had died in a similar way. I don't remember the exact name of it, but basically what it is is that you get a close relationship with family or friends, and eventually that starts to get a little bit serious, and you can start feeling each other's pain. So, it might happen again, whether it be a child or close relative or somebody that you never even knew that you care for so much. So, don't ignore it. It might be helpful in the near future. Alright. Alright, we got a caller in from Google Plus. I'm going to try to catch her in. 
Sorry, folks. Looks like we're having some problems with the patching. If you can hear me, Daniel, and you want to try again, feel free to. I'm not sure if it'll work, but we'll try to patch you in. Anyway, we have another story from Nick M. from Lewiston, Maine. Now, this story is a little kind of creepy. But but it also gets interesting in the long run, so. Anyway, it reads, Hello Dakota, I have been listening to your show for a bit now. Thought I would like to share an experience of mine that took place a few years ago. I was out in the woods walking around with a friend of mine. It was getting close to dark when I noticed these yellow eyes looking right at us. We froze in fear until they disappeared about a minute later. Thinking that it was just probably somebody trying to prank us, we continued walking on, minding our own business. Then those same yellow eyes appeared on a small creature that looks almost kind of like a stick bug, but with a more human appearance. I tried to approach it to get a better look, but it ran off faster than I have ever seen anything move. At first I could move couldn't believe what was happening until I remember a few old legends about tree people that were spotted in the area. At first I thought they were nothing more than stories to keep little kids from wandering off in the forest, but I guess some legends hold a bit more truth than most people realize. Now honestly, Nick, I have to thank you for writing in. I have heard similar things happen in a couple of the reports came from your area, so I wouldn't be surprised if you saw something. Basically, these tree people are, are almost like nature spirits. And basically what happens with these is that they tend to be very elusive. They can also... So, the speed does not surprise me whatsoever. Now, in similar reports of the phenomena, I have also noticed that these events can sometimes cause uh, some sort of disturbance with electrical equipment, so that might be something you might want to look out if you're ever in the area again. I urge you to be careful, because you don't know if these guys might try to take you on, or you never know what happens these days anymore. You and I wouldn't be surprised if it was some sort of mutant animal out on the run. Nothing really surprises me in this world anymore. Anyway. Uh, we had a caller come in, but... Something happened to kick him out. And if you can hear me, uh, feel free to come back in. Those of you who want to join into the chat... I'm sending out the link on across our social networking pages so you should see it within a few minutes. Feel free to click on it to join the chat. We'll patch you through right after this commercial break. So I hope to see you then.
sorry. Alright, welcome back. The gentleman I was talking with earlier hasn't come back to the chat yet, so I'm going to try and give him a little bit more time. Anyone can feel free to call in. You can write, you can Skype, you can Google Plus Hangout. I just sent out a bunch of invites. So that's why the little invitation's been a little weird. So anyway, let's see. Um, you know what? Uh, figured I guess I can share some of my stories. Let's see. I okay. I know a good one that y'all may like. I handled this case. In fact, not too far from here, actually. It was a private residence. It was a real small house. Looked like some. The house kind of looked like something from the old cartoon Courage the Cowardly Dog. But those of you who watched it, maybe with your kids or maybe around my age and happened to see it when you were a kid, only would know that. But there was not much to this house, so the case was a little rough for a bigger guy like me. Anyway. Basically, what the client was called in for was that there had been some weird stuff going on ever since she moved in there. For example, she would have footsteps go around to the point where she would get irritated and basically say, in or out. Surprisingly, this thing was fully responsive and cooperative, so it didn't cause anything much. But the one thing that set this house out from any normal protocol was that there had been two mur at least two murders there and a suicide. So whatever was there, it's, there was a very good chance that it was not friendly. So when the client would take us around, show us the house, explaining everything that happened, Excuse me. She took us into a basement where there was an area in the ground that kind of stood out to us. She had no idea what it was, but we were willing to guarantee that it was actually a sealed off well. I actually have a video of this on our YouTube channel. Just type up Paranormal Raiders when you go on to YouTube. It's really easy to find. In fact, it had some of our most interesting evidence yet. Anyway, in this basement, when we walked down, I got this real weird feeling, like, felt uneasy. Just wasn't very, just wasn't exactly that. This didn't feel right. It felt sick. It felt like somebody was trying to attack me. So, anyway. I go to stand over this thing, and I just felt like I was being dragged into something. Just, it just felt weird. When you're a bigger guy like me, you know, the old saying, bigger you are, you're harder to fall. So, I was kind of freaking out at the moment. So, inevitably, so, I didn't think about it much beginning of the case, other than a few side thoughts on what it could possibly be, because when I first saw that, it kind of reminded me of the Gateway to Hell in Bobby Mackey's, as it's commonly nicknamed, and basically we caught an EVP saying, of a woman saying that she was in the well. Alright, we got a caller in, we're going to try to patch him through. Okay, he keeps jumping in now, so he might be ha having some problems. Sheesh. Oh, I'm going to go to commercial real quick and try again. Alright. Can you hear me okay?
I'm gonna patch it through. All right, we got a caller saying that a sp ghost has pulled my blanket and thrown it out of the side of your room years ago. Since then, he's afraid to go to the restroom. Yeah. All right. Alright, we're having some problems with our patch and stuff, so might end up ending the show early if I can't get this thing figured out. Anyway, you can feel free to call in at any time. We can go to another commercial break. I know it's a pain in the ass. But people, can you please send in legitimate ghost stories? Not just little crap like that. Really, it irritates me. Get something spooky, you know, ghosts, alien abduction, Bigfoot. Come on, people. You know what, I decided something, not a lot of you calling in, so I'm not going to waste my time, I'm not going to waste yours. So, anyway, thought I'd like to set some news to those of you who actually enjoy what I do. Last couple, last few weeks I've been working on a script for a potential movie in the near future. And the script is almost done. I'm going to send it to some colleagues of mine who are more experienced in the field. So, once we end up, once I get feedback from them, maybe get a few tips on how to freshen it up a bit, we're going to go into production and we'll start looking for some help if any of y'all are interested. More details will be posted online. Anyway, I appreciate those of you who sent in your stories, or at least the genuine ones. We got plenty of new stuff coming up, plenty of very exciting new projects. We have a possible investigation coming up within Murtaugh, Idaho, but since school's been kind of hard to work around, we're going to try to aim it for Memorial. Memorial Day weekend, which, if I got this looking right, another show might pop up then. Anyway, tune in again on May 4th.
because of how the progress for our movie is going, we're going to try to bring in some conspiracy theorists. You know, for the whole rumored apocalypse coming to America, or American Holocaust, or whatever y'all like to call it. We're going to try to book some guests that are within that field of expertise to try to fi figure out what the heck's going on. There's rumors of a secret war going on, and honestly, this has piqued my interest severely, which could not be nothing but a pain in the neck. So anyway, remember May 4th, which I wouldn't be surprised if y'all don't come in, because Iron Man 3 next week, which I will personally be joining in, so feel free to come back in. Or listen to the archives of the show. Love to stay in chat, but nobody's wanting to talk, so I'm just gonna get out of here. I'm in a haunted town, so might catch a few things. In fact, I think on the webcam somebody's been peeking behind me. You never know these days. So anyway, see you later. If you feel oh wait, if you feel like promoting your music on the show feel free to send us an email Ever, all the information you need to know can be found at our official website feel free to check it out at any time you know what we'll see y'all later part 2 of this show will not continue on